Hello, my name is Austin Comer Smith from Cavern. I'm going to be talking about Docker image scanning, hardening, and runtime monitoring. So, what we're going to talk about today is a little bit of the issues that go on with runtime containers, images, and the actual hardware that the images go are installed on, upon. We're going to take you through running a wizard for discovery and different policy packs and selections. We're going to access a Docker image in an AWS repository. We're going to apply some patches against it, review the infrastructure, and talk about why it's important. Then we're going to look a little deeper as in to pass the image onto the actual hardware, look at a couple of other policy pack selections, review why they're important, and then we're going to finish up talking about alerting. So with the Cavern platform, we have full stack container security. Again, as long as we have line of visibility into the infrastructure, uh, we can assess and give a risk score and tell you how healthy the environment is. And the risk score is a simulation to a FICO score. It gives you an uh, idea from uh, oh, in, in regards to a score from 0 to 100 as to how healthy your environment tends to be. So a lot of these checks for traditional systems tend to be a little bit manual. With Cavern, we figure out a way out how to automate these things. So we are gaining line of sight into AWS, connecting in through a read-only access right using uh, certain types of read-only roles. Uh, we can go to Azure through a read-only as well and we can get visibility into GCP. And again, with the Docker images, by using username and password, we're able to connect and assess the images and the hardware that images get installed upon. So through full stack container security, again, the first thing we usually look at the images themselves of the registry. And with the imaging, uh, there are different images that do exist. We could have one for uh, Ubuntu, you can have another image for CentOS, CentOS OS, and if with those images, we're able to harden them and tweak them. So again, if you make changes to them, we're able to do, uh, know and alert you as to how the effect of that change has affected the vulnerability status and the security status. And so therefore, as you have it in your life cycle, if it's not secure, you have an opportunity to tweak that image and make the changes to it after you uh, make some configuration additions, you can harden it and then pass it on to the operating system. Now, prior to you passing it on to the operating system, you have an opportunity to harden, patch the operating system and apply different levels of security there. And so, you know, you have a great image on a great OS and you you have a level of comfortability knowing that these environments are where you want them to be. So the images can be stored anywhere in a, whatever repository. Uh, we can plug into a CI/CD pipeline if you have one. But for the first part, we have the image repository, and we're looking at the images, and we're determining whether or not the health of those images and where they are. So apply the Cavern tool on the images. And again, if the score comes back, whereas those images need to have some changes made, we'll apply those changes and then pass those on. And then prior to putting them onto the operating system, again, have the same thing. Have those images, run those images through the Cavern platform, find out if they're patched or not. And if they need patching, make the patches, bring them up to a healthy uh, assessment score level, and then apply a healthy image onto a healthy OS, and then drop that into the pipeline anywhere from the dev through to production phase. So some of the uh, final phases in the slide deck, we're looking at safe images to the policies that got applied are the Docker image hardening policy pack, and that's 73 policies there. We're looking at the Docker image patches and vulnerabilities pack, and there's about 4,977 policies in that. And then on the secure container host, we're looking at the Docker CE 1706, which has 88 policies, and the Cavern patches and vulnerabilities, which that continues to change. There are probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 40-something thousand policies for the container patches and vulnerabilities. So from that perspective, 
let's just get right into the demo. And so here I've logged into the operating system and I've arrived on the dashboard. And on the dashboard I have a current score and again this goes from 0 to 100. So this is the overall score of the entire infrastructure. So I can have or uh, the entire environment, I should say, not infrastructure, because infrastructure is applying an OS, and there could be many different infrastructures and many different environments, because Cavern is a hybrid tool. So your overall architecture could exist in AWS, Azure, GCP, as I mentioned, Docker containers, and on-prem. And this risk and compliance summary is an overall score of every environment you have everywhere, whether it's cloud, on-prem, hybrid, what have you. So this overview gives you a snapshot of what you are looking at from a, from a total perspective. So let's go into the infrastructure tab here on the left. And within this infrastructure tab, I have a lot of different resources that are available. And these are every resource that I pulled in from a wide variety of areas, again, from all the different environments, on-prem, cloud, what have you. If I go into my groups, you can see how they're all so grouped. But if I go to all resources and click on image page, here I have my Docker images. So I have four images. I'm going to look at Cavern Systems and Mongo image in specific, right? So if I want to reassess this, I can hit assess. And here I see they have the two images, uh, the Docker image and policy packs, which is 73. And the Cavern Docker image patches and vulnerabilities pack, which has 24,059 policies that I can check against. Okay, so I can run that now, but in the interest of time, I already have run it. And so once I do run that, the score will show up here as a risk score, and I'll know exactly where I stand with that. But if I go into reports, let's take a deeper dive into this reporting and show what this can be found. So if I click on the Cavern Systems Mongo, here I have the two policy packs that was just demonstrated. Images, patches, vulnerabilities policy pack, and I also have the Cavern Docker Images Hardening Pack. So what happens here is that you're sitting there, the DevSec team are in the, in the the back-end team are making various changes as need be based on the development life cycle, so to speak. And as they make changes, you can use the Cavern tool to evaluate after those changes are made, how good are the images after making those changes. So this is the whole purpose of this exercise. So here, as we look at the first um, and the first policy track or framework, the image and patching um, vulnerabilities policy pack is at 99. So that's really, really good. And it's a healthy, um, healthy framework. If I look at the second one, which is the Docker image hardening policy pack, well, that's a 67. So that would need some work. So here I can look at your failures and high severities. And then from this perspective, I can go ahead and utilize Chef or Ansible to export whatever corrections need to be made from at Chef and Ansible uh, perspective, uh, Chef Playbook, a chef a recipe ansible playbook and export those out and automatically fix those so the goal here would be to bring the 67 up to a 99 once i make the necessary corrections rerun those uh, rerun this assessment to make sure that scores at 99 so i know at that point my image is sound and and in a healthy state ready to deploy at the next step okay so let's let's look at what we covered so far so we talked about a quick description of the problem Whereas we have in this production life cycle changes that get made and the images and the fact it's very manual, but now we're able to automate how healthy those images are and monitor it and keep a, ch a check on that those images. We're able to run the wizards and um, we looked at the full discovery stack on the Docker imaging and the patching and vulnerabilities. And we were able to review the results uh, on that infrastructure page and why it's important and how those changes take effect. So now we're going to look at the actual host now. So if I come back to reports and I click on um, CIS Docker, I have uh, some a group here, and I can show you here. I have a grouping, a CIS Docker group here. And again, I can uh, go ahead and reassess that, and I see I have available to me uh, a wide variety of cavalry patches and vulnerabilities. I can run network and policy packs. I can run 
the CIS Docker policy packs. I can run a couple of different things I want, but here I've ran the Cavern patches and vulnerabilities and the Docker uh, policy pack. 91 there and 4,418 policies packs in this um, aspect. So being that I've already run that, interest of time, I come down here to the Docker. And again, I have two different things that have been run on the host. I have the CIS Docker 1706 policy pack, and I have the patching and vulnerabilities again. So if I look at this, the CIS policy pack, and say, for example, I picked one of the two, uh, I see I'm at a 50 here, so the key would be to look at failures that are maybe high risk, and I don't have any, so I can look at medium risk, and I can see here at this point, anything that needs to be corrected or changed, I can and do that at that point in time. So at this moment, I know I have an unhealthy score. It's a 50. So again, I have the Chef and Ansible automations I can do. But if I simulated a fix on this and did a test fix, you'll see my score just jumps from a unhealthy score to a medium healthy score. So again, the point of the same uh, task is if I made the necessary corrections on the actual host, then I want to tweak the host up into a more healthy score. Maybe if it's 99, wherever it is, I want to make sure that I make the necessary adjustments and look at the medium and all the failures on the host level so I can get those hosts at a place where the images are, are, are a more healthy place. So if I come back out here and I click on the patches and the vulnerabilities, I see I'm down here at a 44. And if I look at, say for example, let's just pick one and see if here at I'm at an 80 in regards to the uh, cavern patches and vulnerabilities. So again, same exercise, I want to look at failures, I want to look at anything that's high risk. And say again, if I suppress this to simulate a fix, it's not actually fixing it, but just simulating um, a fix. And so I've taken the score from a medium to a in the good range. So again, I would tweak this if, if I had a set number anywhere from 81 to nine to 100, if 99 was a number, as I make the necessary corrections and fixes, I would be able to tweak that score into a healthy range. Now, once I have that into a completely healthy area, and this image is at, this this host, excuse me, is at a, at a healthy place, then I can apply the image onto the host and I know that I have a healthy image, I have a healthy host, and I know that I have a secured, complete Docker environment. Now, as I run these, I can again view the state of the environment from day to day and I can look at ebbs and flows and peaks and valleys within the environment from day to day. And so if there's different changes that are made on one day to the next, I'll know if I have spikes and I have a continuous monitoring from a weekly, monthly, daily period. However, now what if I wanted alerting to go on to this? So here I have alerting and as I mentioned in the container runtime aspect of it, new service started on a container, whatever the alerts are, fail console login. So if I click on some of these alerts that a tiny agent gets stolen on the Docker host, it comes back, it relays information to me, and I can click on these, and from this perspective, I can look on the command line, and I can tell everything that's going on, and who, and what, where, and how. And this gives me 24-hour uh, alerts onto this host, and is fully integratable with uh, PagerDuty, Slack, Jira, and ServiceNow. So what I can do once I got some information back from this, I can send this information off to uh, Jira for notification perspectives. Okay, I thank you. Let's just review and recap. So we talked about the run wizard, the policy packs, why it's important, and the alerting aspects of all the ins and outs of the containers. Thank you for joining, and I hope that was very helpful.